All right, so six five is called proportionality theorems. This is actually the last time you'll take notes this year. Um, year. Yeah, 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 yeah. 2019. No, I mean notes as in a new section. Review notes, obviously yeah. different. Review for midterm. And what are you doing Friday? Okay, six five is called proportionality theorem. So we're gonna learn three theorems that are dealing with proportions, like where you set up proportion, cross, multiply, and divide. Okay, the first is this triangle proportionality theorem, which says that if a line parallel to one side of the triangle intersects the other two sides, then it divides the two sides proportionally. Is there mm -hmm. Not really this section, but yeah. So. If you're looking at the diagram that's there, if EB is parallel to DC, then it cuts those triangle, the sides of the triangle proportional. So AB to BC would equal AE to ED. You can also go left, right, left, right. So you can go top, bottom, top, bottom, or you can go left, right, left, right. The order still works. I can say AE to AB would equal ED to BC. Or I could say like top to whole and top to whole. Like there's a lot of different ways to look at this because they're technically proportional. They're technically similar triangles, right? So I could say AE over the whole left side, which is AD, would equal AB over the whole right side, which is AC. So the only thing you need is that they're parallel, and then obviously they should be intersecting those two sides, and it cuts it proportionally. So AE could be like one, and AB could be two, and then ED could be five, and BC could be ten. Exactly. What? All right, so converse of the triangle proportionality theorem is the reverse order, right? If a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then that line is parallel to the third side. So in this case, if AB to BC equals AE to ED, then I can say that these are parallel. So just take the if and the then and flip them. All right, so example one gives you the diagram and those little arrows are there to show you that they're parallel. So CD over DA would equal what? CE over DE. Good, CE or EC over? E, B, or B, E. The order of those letters don't matter. So then B says if C, D is 3, and D, A is 6, and D, E is 3.5, then A, B is what? So this is where it's tricky, okay? You cannot say left, I, I can't say 3 to 6 would equal 3.5 to X. Okay, because it's not the sides that we're talking about being proportional, which means you have to compare these the old way as those these are similar triangles. Okay, which means I can say three to the whole side here would equal three point five to x. So be really careful. Okay, if you're looking at the side lengths, like if this was three point five and this was x, then I can chunk it up three to six would equal 3.5 to x. But because you're looking at the parallel sides of your triangle, you can't just divide it. Does that make sense? Okay, so now I cross multiply. 3x equals 3.5 times nine, which apparently you guys are super big fans of decimals. You would have thought I put a bomb on that quiz. Wait, why didn't you say one third? You can, you can do one third, yeah. And then you get x equals three times 3.5. It's still, you're still multiplying. And you get 10.5. I'm going to finish this off, though, because we struggled a lot with the multiplying and the dividing of the decimals. So this is 45. That's 27, 31. And then there's one digit behind the decimal place. So that's 31.5, right? Mm -hmm. So 3x equals 31.5. And then you would divide by 3. So x equals 31.5 divided by 3, which is 1, 0, 
So same answer either way, but obviously you got to be able to handle multiplying and dividing. All right, now C, I'm going to come back and erase off this stuff because we have new measurements. Okay, C says if CB is 12, so this whole side here is 12, and EB is 8, this is 8, and CD is 6, then DA is what I'm looking for. Good, so I need to chunk up the left side. I would do 12 minus 8 to get that this is 4, and then there's lots of different ways you could do it, right? I could go 8 to 4, x to 6, I could do 8 to x, 4 to 6, it doesn't matter how you set it up, okay? So if I did 8 over 4 equals x over 6, I can reduce this to 2 to 1, 2 over 1 equals x over 6, and x equals 12. But then what is d? What? So da would be 12. da is 12, yep. Questions. So be prepared to see decimals again. Don't let them freak you out. I did left side to right side. So you could also do like 8 to x. I could have done 8 over x equals 4 over 6. You yeah. could do it that way. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, you get the same answer. Not most, but there was a lot of silly mistakes with dividing. Yeah. Not all of them. All right, theorem 6-6 six, six does not have a name, okay? It says if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they dot divide the transversals proportionally. So the last one was based on a triangle with parallel sides. Now you're talking about two parallel lines. We're talking about three parallel lines that are intersected by two transversals. And it cuts them into parts. So this, I could say BC, which is this part here, over CD. So I went right side, right side, equals AF over FE, left side, left side. You can also go left, right, left, right. I could say AF over BC equals FE over CD. I could go bottom, top. I could go right, left. All the different ways work, okay? You just can't crisscross. Like I can't say AF over C. D equals BC over FE. All right, example two says if A is two and B is three and C is five, then D is. So A is two, B is three, C is five, D is what I don't know. So I can say two over three equals five over D, or I could say two over five equals three over D. Doesn't matter. Good. 2D equals 15 divided by 2. And D equals 15 over 2 or 7.5 or 7 and 1 half. Questions on that one? Okay, then B says if A is 4, B is 8, C is 5, then what is C plus D? So I want this whole side. So you have options. You can either say 4 to 8 equals 5 to X and then take those and add them together at the end. Or you can say 4 to the whole side, like 4 to 12, would equal 5 to x, and then you don't have to add them together at the end. Either way it works, doesn't matter which one, okay? So let's say I make this x again, and I would say 4 to 8, or 4 over 8 would equal 5 over x. This is 1 half, so this would be x equals 10. That's this part, but the question is saying c plus d, so I'd have to add them to get 15. Or... I could make this whole side x, and then I'd have to make this whole side 12. And then I can say 4 to 12 would equal 5 to x. This would be 1 third, 
and I'd still get x equals 15. This time I don't have to add anything to it. So however your brain sees that, go with it, okay? It doesn't matter. Questions on that one? All right, last one. Theorem 6, 7 says, if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite sides into segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So we went from triangle to parallel lines, back to triangle, but this time we're looking at it with an angle bisector. So what's written there is that AD to DB, so we're talking about the top part of the bisect over the bottom part, would equal the top side of this triangle, which is CA, over the bottom side, which is CB. You can also do top to top and bottom to bottom. So I could have said CA over AD equals CB over DB. So there's a couple of different ways to write these. They're all right. You just can't crisscross. Like I can't say AC goes with DB and AD goes with CB. AD over AC, is that what you said? Can equal DB over CB. Yeah, sure, that works too. All right, last one. So this says to find X. First thing you have to know is that that angle is being bisected. So it's marked. It will either be marked or it will state somewhere that like ray, A, B is the bisector, the angle, all of that you have to know before you start to set up your proportions. Now, again, there's a couple of different ways to do this, okay? But if I want this whole side length, then I can chunk it up and I can even like create a variable. I can say that this is Y. And then I can say 12 to 10 would equal 24 to Y. Or I could say 12 to 24 equals 10 to y. You with me so far? Yep. And then this could be 1 to 2, and y would equal 20. That gives me this. It wants x, so I add those together to get 30. That's one way to do it. It's not the only way, though. Questions on that way. So the other option is if I didn't want to bring in a variable... I could say that this is x minus 10. And then I can say 12 to 24 equals 10 over x minus 10. This is still 1 to 2. So 20 would equal x minus 10 and x would equal 30. Both options are right. I could do 12 over 10 equals 24 over x minus 10. You just can't crisscross. Like, I can't put 12 over this and 24 over that, okay? You can't, just like with the proportional parallel segments, you can't crisscross. All right, so not only obviously is that the end of the notes, but that's the end of the material that's going to be on your test. So this stuff, which we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time reviewing tomorrow, but we have math, so it's shorter. Um, keep in mind that like, and I'll publish the Quizlet that has the 6-1, so it's 6-1, 6-3, 6-4, because we didn't do 6-2, and 6-5, okay? I'll publish the Quizlet that has all that stuff, which has the, you know, the similarity stuff in the beginning of the chapter. That's where the proof is going to come from. You're going to have to prove the triangles are similar along those lines. Um, and then you've got like your, you know, your one-step proofs, like are the two triangles similar, and if they are, why? That kind of stuff you're going to see, Okay. And then obviously you're going to set up your proportions. It's a lot of cross multiplying and dividing because all the stuff from the, the, the similar triangles was that. Obviously all this stuff is from today. So you want to make sure you're really, really careful. You're going to see decimals. You're going to see fractions. You're not allowed to freak out. All right, your homework's open. It's on Canvas if you want to get a head start. Well, you're going to get a head start because you've got lots of time.